Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Harsh Kumar, product lead at ServiceNow. And today I will cover digital end user experience product. In short, DEX. Digital end user experience is a product that IT deploys on the end user devices to monitor applications, network, and the device. It is a product that helps IT to proactively detect issues and remediate before it causes downtime and impact employee productivity. IT organizations are reactive in nature and DEX will help them being proactive. With that being said, in today's call, I will talk about the, the challenges, the problem statements, and show you the solution of digital end user experience. So the key challenge that every IT organization face is poor employee experience. The only way that they could understand an employee issue is when an employee complains about that particular issue by raising an incident ticket. And also employees are using SaaS apps, different cloud uh, um, services, and IT doesn't have visibility into those cloud services or SaaS apps because IT is not the one who is deploying it or maintaining it on their cloud. It's someone who is basically managing and maintaining it. So giving, getting that visibility is really difficult for IT to know what are the issues that the employees are facing in the first place, because these are related to SaaS apps and web apps. Moreover, employees don't even complain about their problems. Employees would basically you know, restart an app or restart their machine to make it work. And IT on the other side is not even aware of the issues that the employees are facing. IT doesn't have any visibility into the issues that employees have or the experiences that the employees are facing. IT is always focused on delivering the services to employee. And IT has, has never been focused on how those services are being used by employees. And DEX will change that. Now, the key problem statement that digital end user experience product is solving is providing that visibility, giving that visibility to IT on all the issues that the employees are facing. Number two is IT has been more reactive, is they wait for an employee to complain, employee to report an issue, and then take actions based on that. We want the IT to be proactive. We want to change the status quo of how the IT operates currently. The third is lack of empathy. IT has been ignoring how the employees interact with it. And let's say for me, for an example, I'm, I work at ServiceNow and for me to raise an incident is basically I need to go to Okta, I need to do two-step verification. Then I basically go to employee portal. Then I search for the catalog and then I fill the form and submit. I made total of seven to eight clicks just to raise one simple request. Now, how can I make it very simple for employees with just two clicks, they could raise a request. Now, bringing that empathy of how employees interact with IT and how we can elevate the end user experience from the IT perspective is really critical. And DAX will change that. Now, there are two products under digital end user experience product suite. One is the desktop assistant, the second product is application and device health product. Now the desktop assistant product is mainly catered for employees, mainly for helping employees to troubleshoot, mainly helping employees to get notified and helping employees to do self-service, right? Now application and device health is mainly catered towards IT personas, mainly the, the workplace enablement, support desk, service desk, help desk, um, operations, all these personas basically use the data that we collect from the end user devices. It can be application health uh, information or device health information. When I say health, it is more of monitoring metrics that we collect and all those data that will be used for analysis and getting insights into what's at, what are the issues that the employees are facing and basically taking actions out of it. So there are two products, as I mentioned, one is the desktop assistant and the application and device product. These two products 
are clubbed in into the digital end user experience product suite. Now, let me talk a little bit more about Desktop Assistant. Desktop Assistant product is, as I mentioned, it is catered towards employees, helping them getting notified, helping them troubleshooting, helping them for the self-service. This product is built as a framework where a customer can deploy this product on both Windows and Mac operating system. And this product can be customized end to end. Even the logo can be customized. Even the icons can be customized. Even the cards can be customized. Now, again, this pro particular product is uh, supports SAML integration, uh, OAuth. Um, you know, you don't have to give another credentials to your employees to log in or use this product. They can basically log in or use this product with their employee portal credentials. Moving on is to towards the application and device health product. This product is mainly focused towards giving the the metrics the the live met data from those respective devices back to service now this can be monitoring data monitoring a, a installed application or monitoring a saas application or monitoring the device itself or monitoring the network all these constitutes the application and device health it's it constitutes of different um, framework components which includes agent client collector, which is a unified agent. And also it constitutes of the, the, the Chrome plugin. And in future, we will have a support even for the Microsoft Hedge browser. Again, all these constitutes the framework. And also there are a number of use cases that we will be able to solve with the application and device health product. Now, moving on to the metrics that that application and device health product. This is core. This is core and critical for for you you guys to understand how this is how this is built and what data that we collect from the respective application and the device and the config data. So as you can see from this particular screen, we collect different metrics. We collect golden metrics. We don't we don't want to collect all the metrics, thousands of metrics that is available, it will basically make the system slow or the end user device slow. We wanna collect golden metrics, which are really critical for the business and which are really indicators of the performance, stability and the adoption. So from the SaaS application metrics that we collect, we collect response time, page load time, DNS lookup time, page views, session time, uh, all those SaaS application metrics, which are collected every five minutes. Now, the installed application metrics are also collected every five minutes. So let's say you define it as a Zoom app or Microsoft Teams. We will collect CPU usage, memory usage, the crash rate, restarts rate, installed, last access time, total usage, and so on and so forth. Device metrics are collected every 60 minutes because these metrics you know, quite often change. But again, you don't need to be collected every five minutes. So device metrics we collected every 60 minutes, like CPU usage, memory usage, and you can change it to five minutes as well, but again, we don't wanna impact the performance of the end user device. We collected every um, you know, 60 minutes and you can collect it on demand as well when you go to that particular device page. Now the device config data is basically the CMDB data. Like the CMDB data, typically customers collect this every seven days. Some customers collect this every 24 hours to two days and so on and so forth. Again, customers can customize the, the policies, like how often they wanna collect this config data. On the config data, we collect um, install software, running processes, OS version, and all that information from that particular device. Now, it's not just about collection. It's about taking actions on the data that, you, that we collect. Now, let's say an employee complains that he doesn't have access to the SharePoint or he doesn't have access to Office 365, which is a SaaS application. Now, you could basically run HTTP test or ping test on that Office 365 directly from ServiceNow from that device, right? So you could know that really the employee, what, is, what he's complaining about is really an issue on his device. Then you could do, let's say an employee complains that his Wi-Fi is slow or is having a, an issue with his Wi-Fi. You could basically check RSSI value and also you could do a simple network test. Now let's say an employee comes, um, you know, complains that, hey, my, his battery is running out of juice and is basic, basically his, his laptop's battery is 
is lasts for two hours. So you could basically check for power consumption, battery health, and so on and so forth. So these are diagnostic actions where when you go to a doctor, you basically, doctor tells you to take an x-ray, it's quite similar. You will basically take an x-ray of that particular device using diagnostic actions. Then followed by remedial actions where post the diagnostic, you wanna prescribe something. Right. So your doctor basically prescribes you a pill or action stick. Right. So again, remedial actions are basically focused on restarting a device, restarting killing a service, killing a process, or removing DNS cache or removing browser cache, and so on and so forth. Again, these actions that we're going to build, we're going to share more and more actions as we move forward, but these actions will be available to you in the May release of, of DEX. Now, moving forward is I want to show you the eye level architecture of how this is going to look like. And you will find the detailed architecture in our documentation. And I'm going to share that in this uh, on the site as well. So again, from the eye level standpoint, you will see how DEX basically collects the data. So a customer needs to deploy agent client collector. Once the customer has deployed agent client collector, they will going to watch list those applications that they would like us to monitor and we will start monitoring those application and we'll bring in golden metrics to ServiceNow and ServiceNow will basically analyze those respective met metrics and we will build dashboards and give insights and followed by, we will have list of actions, playbooks and so on and so forth for you to, uh, for customers to take actions and automate um, using DEX. So this is the I-level solution overview. With that, I wanna basically start with the demo. Um, again, demo will be covered in a different video, but again, this is the introduction um, you know, video that I wanted to cover. And again, um, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, thank you.